Hey guys, welcome to Coast. Today, we have got some exciting news about the game-changing revolution in the energy sector. Picture this, your stove's gas could be a blend of natural gas and something unexpected, biogas. Yup, the government just announced that from 2025 onwards, it will be mandatory to blend compressed biogas with piped natural gas and compressed natural gas. So in this video, we will explain why the government is so hyped about biogas. So before starting the video, it's a request to please subscribe our channel as it means a lot to us. Making biogas is quite straightforward. For starters, the raw material you need to create is available in abundance. We are talking about things like food waste that goes into landfills, sewage waste and even gober, cow dung. And if you put this together, you will find that in India, we generate 500 million tons of farm waste and 70 million tons of food waste every year. So there's a lot of it. And all you have to do is dump all this into a machine or plant and let it work its magic. Microorganisms break down the waste through a process called anaerobic digestion. This releases methane and carbon dioxide. The plant will simply take this and convert it into a power that can run our homes. Now, if you think about it, biogas can be a miracle fuel. For starters, at micro level, it could help increase farmers' income. See, for 1 kg of manure, farmers get paid rupees 1 at least. Sure, it might not seem like much, but it's not like the manure would have earned them anything otherwise. And if we go by estimates that one animal produces 15 kg of dunk a day, that could amount to a decent sum of money. Also, biogas production yields leftovers. For every ton of biogas, we have left 3 tons of waste. But it's actually not useless waste. The leftover actually contains microorganisms that can be quite helpful for the crops. Basically, it's an organic fertilizer. That means farmers won't need to spend as much money to buy chemical fertilizers. India, meanwhile, has been using a quite a bit of natural gas. We use it for gas cylinders at home and as a part of our energy grid too. It helps power factories. Also, we have millions of CNG-powered cars plying the roads these days. But to meet this demand, we don't have enough viable natural gas deposits in the country. So, we end up relying on imports for 50% of our needs. And this way, a big chunk of dollars gets used up from our coffers. The latest estimate suggests that if we replace 20% of our natural gas consumption with biogas by 2030, we can shave, shave off a whooping $29 billion from our import bill. Also, we can wean our farmers away from chemical fertilizers. It could even reduce our fertilizer import cost. We currently import around $12 billion worth of it and it's only going higher. So now you see why the government is hell-bent on increasing the uptake of biogas in the country. But let me tell you, there's a problem. See, back in 2018, we had gotten quite excited about the biogas. The government launched a special scheme called Sustainable Alternative Towards Affordable Transportation. And they said the goal was to have 5,000 operational biogas plants by 2023. But as of now, only 48 plants have been commissioned. Now, we dug around and found a few hiccups with the biogas dream. Firstly, there's a financing problem. Typically, when a sector is given the priority tag by RBI, banks rush to lend money because they have to meet certain targets. But here, banks have been hesitant. They are not lending money to the biogas entrepreneurs quite freely. They don't seem quite convinced about the potential profitability as yet. And you know that access to capital is the lifeblood of any business enterprise. Secondly, there's a problem with the offtake of biogas producers. What's that, you ask? Think of it as a long-term agreement where a buyer promises to pay a certain sum of money for a certain quantity of gas. These agreements are quite common in oil and gas industry. But for biogas, a parliamentary committee report from December 22 says that offtake price determined by the government might have been too low and that means there wasn't enough incentive for the entrepreneurs to set up costly plants. Also, in the case of leftover biomanure, 
there has not been offtake at all entrepreneurs might be left holding the bag and thirdly an article in the morning context recently suggested that there might be a demand and supply issue see 70% of the raw material of biogas in india comes from two sources there are agricultural leftovers and the animals waste since this can be costly to transport biogas plants pop up in rural areas this way they are close to the source as possible on the other hand the demand for gas is in urban areas however transporting the compressed gas from villages to cities in specialized containers are costly so the only way out is to expand the gas distribution pipelines make sure it reaches biogas plants and then the plants can feed the gas directly into the energy grid it reduces costs for everyone so yeah there is definitely a few things to fix maybe that's why government isn't rushing with the timeline this time we have got 1.5 years to sort things and we will just have to wait and see how it plays out so guys stay tuned for the updates on this incredible journey towards a greener more sustainable energy future Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the energy revolution with everyone you know. Till then, take care and stay informed.